What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna briefly go over, well maybe not briefly, but I'm gonna go over um, the process I use in customizing iOS 14 icons to make my device look custom. Just because so many people ask me about this and uh, it's been a little while since I've done a custom icons video and how I do it. So obviously as you guys can see, I have a full range of custom icons here. Uh, these are by um, Bulldog on Twitter. I'll leave his Twitter handle down in the description. They are paid icons and uh, Bulldog's a little hard to get a hold of. So you have to be very patient if you're looking to purchase these icons in specific. Now, um, people ask me, where do I find icons? I've covered this in the past. The best place I have found to, you know, ask people about icons and to find themes and all that is of course in the I have in discord. Uh, just because you can hop in here, you can go into, you know, show setups or wherever you can find, you know, setups that people are using. You can see and check out really cool looking icons. And then you can usually just ask that person, hey, where did you find those icons? And they'll gladly help you. So a lot of these themes are found um, like this one, for example, is, is directly through the creator. Um, and basically you make the purchase through their PayPal and then they will send you a link to the files. Now, once you have your, your icons, um, what I like to do is in my iCloud drive here, of course, if you guys don't have the iCloud space to house a lot of themes or icons, you can do this right on my iPhone, but I do it in iCloud drive. That way I can access it from any iPhone, iPad, Anything I have, I can check them out on my Mac, you know what I mean? So it just makes it easier for me to have access to them anywhere. But uh, I like to have a themes folder and I'm super OCD. I have this very well um, organized. I have the name of the theme. I have the name of the creator. So again, the creator of the one that you guys are seeing here is Bulldog5278 on Twitter. There's his Twitter handle right there. You go into the theme here, as you can see there are, this is actually meant for a jailbreak. Um, theme so there's alt icons there's bundles icon bundles there's even UI images in here that I haven't cleaned out um, but I have you know the icons here and basically it's just images you're saving if you if you think about it as simple as possible you have square images they just happen to be very cool images but they're just square images okay and uh, a real quick note here uh, for those of you that do look for themes. So like I said, I heaven is a great place to chat with people to discover icons, um, for non jailbreak, a great place is gumroad.com to purchase, uh, themes there. You can find iOS 14, no jailbreak themes there. Um, and I do like the gumroad application. I think it's, uh, very well put out and, um, you know, the, the way it works is really simple. Uh, pretty much what you can do is purchase a, a theme. If it is paid, most of them are paid. Uh, and then it will be added to your application. Essentially from here, I can go ahead and download all of the images as you guys can see with this right here. So I can, I can click on this, I can download it, and then I can basically transfer it to my files and keep all of the images there. That's basically how it works. So I can, I can share this save to files. I'll just do one for example. So I'm already in themes. I'll just leave it as echoes icon pack. And actually this looks like it's not the prop. Well, we'll see. I'll do save. It's all about just saving a, a folder or files and then you can just unzip. So these did allow me to unzip. I can get rid of the zip and now I have echoes icon pack in here. If I go in there, apparently I didn't wait long enough, but here are all the icons in this pack. So that's just an example of the process of getting the images here. You can do this any way you want. I mean, this is totally up to how you want to save them in your files. You basically just need access to these images. So from here, what I do is I go into shortcuts and I, I begin creating uh, the, the app icons. I'm gonna kill that. Actually, it looked like it was being a little wonky. So um, from here, I click the plus button. I do add action, I do scripting. I do open app, I choose the application. Let's just do one for example. Let's say the Adidas app. Uh, and then from here I can click the three dots. I can do add to home screen, click on the icon, choose a file from my files. And as you guys can see, here we are in my files. And hopefully that makes sense now. Now that I'm in my files, 
I can choose the image that I want to use for that icon. So I guess what I could do is just go to the echoes that I just downloaded, for example, go into the folder, go to the main icons, and then here are the icons. And what I can do is just choose an icon. I like to clear the name so there's no app name. You could of course put the name of the app if you guys like to have the names of the applications. Click on add, I can click done. You don't need to save the shortcut. All you did was uh, use it to create the bookmark application. I'll click cancel, delete the shortcut. Like I said, it's not needed. And now if we go to the home screen, you can see there is the new icon and it will launch the Adidas app. And you guys will notice that I also have no, no banners, no notifications when launching this. I have, I have covered how to do that in a separate tutorial. So if you guys wanna see how to get rid of the banners and the notifications when you open up these custom icons, I'll leave the video link for that in the description. So um, that's one thing that makes this, I, I guess, tolerable to me is that I don't have the annoying pop-ups or anything like that. Now, another common question that people ask me is they say, Hi, how can you get the badges on these custom icons? Uh, with the way it works, you cannot. You cannot get badges to be directed to these. These are just bookmarks that are telling um, shortcuts to open that specific app when the app icon is clicked. Uh, so there's no way that iOS would know that, hey, this, is, this needs the badges for Discord or something like that. So there's no way to have those badges uh, placed onto those icons. So that's just one thing you need to kind of live with if you're gonna look look into doing a custom iPhone look. Um, but you know, it's completely easy enough to pull down on Notification Center to check your notifications. I have, um, with doing this custom stuff, I have, I've never used Notification Center as much um, in my life. So it, it's just real easy, just pull down, check your notifications there if you wanna see what your recent notifications are. Um, but yeah, you won't have app icons. Now on a side note, now that you guys have seen the process in which I do to create these icons, um, on a side note, there are really cool shortcuts out there. Um, for example, you can get um, Layerize, which will allow you to add icon effects to those icons. Basically what it's doing is it's adding a, a image effect to the icon image itself, so it'll give it a different look. You can use Layerize, you can use Show AE. Um, another thing that's cool is Show Doc. You can you can use cool um, graphics to make the, the dock look hidden and other effects like that. So there's a lot of really cool things you can do with custom icons on iOS 14. And I've covered basically everything at this point on how I go about creating things and doing, you know, um, icon effects or hidden docks or, you know, what have you. It's all listed in the playlist link in the description, guys, for my full range of iOS 14 customization and of course, this is no jailbreak. This is stock iOS. This is easy weather. Again, I've covered all of this. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.